The next kind of question I want to do is method of reasoning, and this is getting us close to the end of logical reasoning. There aren't, there's just one more level above this. But this is really interesting because I, I tend to think of method of reasoning questions and the flawed descriptive weakening question, which is the subject we'll cover after this. Those two questions, I, I think of them as keys to the logical reasoning section overall. Okay, so I, I've used the analogy cookie cutter. If the arguments in the stimuli you've encountered are cookies, then the correct answers in method of reasoning and similarly flawed descriptive weakening questions, those correct answers are the cookie cutters. They're the cookie cutters. They're the things that the outside writers use to stamp out the arguments that you encounter over and over again in the stimuli all across logical reasoning. Okay, so that's why I really like this type of question. It's, it's hard. Uh, they use a lot of general terms, a lot of abstract vocabulary, but it is in their very generality, their abstract nature, that they're so powerful that they can capture so many different types, or not types, sorry, so many different instances of the same type of argumentation. Okay, so to kind of place this in its, in its proper location uh, in relation to other question types that we've covered up to this point, and in an effort to, again, convince you of the, uh, what I like to call the unity of logical reasoning, We'll start back with main point, main conclusion questions. There I call it a labeling exercise. Why? Because in the stimulus, you're given an argument, and the correct answer choice does what? The correct answer choice merely labels the conclusion of the argument. That's it. Right? From there, we moved on to uh, most strongly supported, must be true, point at issue. There I said, you're kind of having to understand now what support really means, because the stimulus gives you a set of claims, and then the correct answer choice is the one that receives the right kind of support, or, or anti-support, as in the case of point issue disagree, from the stimulus, right? The right answer choice receives the right kind of support from the stimulus. See, this is a natural progression and building upon this. Next, we moved on to what I call the analyze, right? Now you have to analyze the support structure in the weakening questions and in the strengthening superset of questions where within the stimulus, you have an argument, there is an internal support structure, and the correct answer choice, the correct answer choice has to affect support structure, the argument, in the right way, okay? It's got to have some effect. And we said one framework we used was the assumption framework. And, you know, in the weakening, you overturn assumptions. In strengthening, you affirm assumptions. Now, in method of reasoning and flaw descriptive weakening, we're doing something different. It's called describing the support structure of the argument. Here, I like to think of it as we are now floating high and above the argument. You know, whereas in weakening, strengthening, we got our hands dirty. We were in the trenches. Now we're kind of floating above it all, looking down at what's happening in the argument and offering commentary, right? We're just merely describing. The correct answer choice is not going to get its hands dirty. It's just going to look down on the argument, see how it's working, and just describe how, what's happening. And I know this is difficult. It's, it's abstract, and it's kind of difficult to make sense of right now. And I promise once we do some questions, it'll become more tangible. But this is the mindset I want you to take into it, is that it's abstract, it's general. And so, as such, right, the answer choices are going to contain a lot of words that, you, at first, it's going to be hard to know, like, what are you even talking about? You know, we're not used to describing abstract things, like arguments. We're used to describing tangible objects. Like, I can describe the couch in my room, right? I can describe the dinner I ate. But to describe an argument, that's, I mean, the argument itself is already abstract. Right? And then you have to do an, a, a second order abstraction on something that's already, that's, that's why it's hard. But, you know, like I said at the top of the lesson, if you can do this, right, if you can do this well, and you can learn to do this well, it's, it is a matter of getting used to the language, then you would have given yourself the keys to logical reasoning. Because all of these other things, they're just cookies stamped from the same cookie cutter. Sorry to mix analogies there. Right? They are doors that get opened by the key. Okay, so with that, Let's take a look at some real method of reasoning questions.